Hi, my name's Jim England from Protex Pest Control Services Limited, and I'm going to be talking today about a variety of pests that affect us both inside and outside of our homes. Today we're going to be talking about preventing mice getting into your home and we're going to be looking for the obvious places. So first thing what we've identified here is a hole where a waste pipe used to come through the wall. This is now redundant. Um, as a guideline we generally use a biro pen to uh, identify whether or not a hole is big enough. Well this is um, certainly big enough. So what we're going to do we're going to look at how we can close that off to stop the mice from getting in. And what we're going to use is wire wall. This is always handy because it does, um, mice just don't like it. They don't like the texture of it. It's very fibrous. Um, so we'll push that into the hole. So what we're gonna do now to hold the wire wool in place, we're gonna put some expanding foam in around it to make it a real belt and braces job. Let it dry. You can come back to this in about 15 or 20 minutes and then what we can do, we can trim it back with just a standard knife, any old knife will do, it doesn't have to be anything special. We've now identified that air bricks are a way that mice can fit in and going back to our biro pen scenario, if you can poke a biro through a hole, potentially a mouse can fit through, believe it or not. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a cover over this vent. Um, these covers are designed to still allow for the flow of air, but they obviously deny the mice access because the holes are much smaller. Um, the only thing you need to be conscious of with this type of cover is you don't fit it over any vent that is venting a gas appliance, like a boiler. There's a hole in each corner. What we would do, we would drill into the pointing around the vent, and then this would fit snugly, just like that and uh, that will stop the mice from getting in, but it still give us the flow of air that we need. What we're looking at now is once the mice get from the outside under the floors, how they then get up inside the home. And what we've got here is we've got a water pipe coming up from below floor level. And if we use our biro pen again, it's certainly big enough to uh, allow for the mice to get in. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill this hole again with some wire wall. Um, another thing I ought to mention is if you're working anywhere around mice, it's always a good idea to wear a pair of gloves because um, obviously they do transmit disease. The good thing with wire wool, it's nice and easy to cut. You can use a pair of scissors, you can cut off the amount that you require and then just plug it in the hole. That's firmly wedged in there so I'm not, I'm not overly worried about using expanding foam on that. I don't think a mouse is going to push through that. The problem we find a lot of the time is when builders fit a kitchen, they don't always block off all the holes underneath the units because the way they see it is the sink's going to be over that. So if there's a hole under there, don't worry about it. It's out of sight, out of mind. But unfortunately, it, you know, if you've got mice getting into your house, this is one of the most common areas where you're going to find them. It's always a good idea to check underneath the plimps. These ones, fortunately, just pull out. Some are clipped, some are screwed. And what we've got under here is, uh, thankfully, no evidence of mouse activity. So many times we see bags of rubbish being left on the floor overnight. The trouble is, is if there's any food in here, like we've got some ham and stuff in here, and the mice will have a field day. And what they'll do, they'll just rip a hole straight through the bottom. Again, they'll be in there like a knife through hot butter. Best thing to do with this is put it in the bin. And that's how you get rid of mice in your house. 